Jesus. Ouch. Ouch. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another video for some acrylic pouring here. So, I'm gonna try to do a lance, another landscape one. The last one I did didn't turn out the way, it turned out cool, but not really the way I wanted. I've got all my colors pre-mixed here with Floatrol and whatever color I'm using. All the colors will be down below in the description if you want to see the exact colors I'm using. And um, it's roughly probably about a 50-50 mixture. You know, I eyeballed it. I know a lot of people measure. I didn't measure it. About a 50-50 mixture of uh, Floatrol to paint. And I kind of want to do a landscape scene here um, with three different pieces that make them all fit together here. So give me one second. I'll fast forward so you don't have to wait. Okay. So that should be good. I was going to put them really close together so when I do the porch closer, but then I realized when I need to touch up the sides when I'm done to get all the sides in, I wasn't going to have enough room to get my finger or a tool, or I could have got a thin tool in there, but it just would have been hard. So I'm going to leave it a little bit to cross and I'm going to do a pour like across them like that. So I'm going to try to do an overall landscape scene, like I said. Um, let me see. I've got my distilled water here to spray on the paper towel for the when I do the drag across. I'm gonna get the bottom wet there, do it like that, and then just drag it across. Okay, so like I said, we got all our colors, all descriptions below. Um, I, I sprayed a little bit of silicone on the top of each cup, and it's been sitting there for, you know, I don't know, three or four minutes while I've been, been getting ready here. But um, I think we're good. So the only thing that we had pre-mixed already was our black. It's just an acrylic black, and it's got Floetrol mixed in there. So this is gonna be the first one I'm gonna do. And when I did my other landscape scene, there was way too much black on the top. I did way too much and, and drag, drug it down. Drag it down? Drug it down? How would you say that? Anyways, um, and uh, it just it just went too far. So this one, I wanna definitely make sure I get some nice coverage on the top there, but I'm not gonna do a crazy amount on top. It just uh, made it look too much like space as opposed to a landscape scene. Okay. And, oh, if you might notice below, if you've watched any other videos, this is the first time you'll notice this, is I've got silicone, we bought some silicone mats. So that's what's below down here, silicone. It catches the paint, and when the paint dries, you can just peel it off, and then when it's hard, you can make jewelry out of it. So that's gonna be, we'll do that in the future. Um, let me get you a little bit closer to what I'm doing here. Hold on. Let me adjust you just a little tiny bit here, sorry. Yeah, so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so we've got the black. Now I want to do a little bit of dark blue on top here. You know what, man, that silicone's really just sitting on the top there. Jeez, I'm, you know what, maybe I'll start in the middle here. Uh, you see how it kind of poured out right? Yeah, that might make a big difference, but who cares? We'll see what happens, right? Okay, then I want to take a little bit of this glitter paint here. You know what? I'm going to mix the glitter paint. Why not? This is the only one I'm going to mix the silicone up in. Really stir it in there. We'll see if there's any difference or if that does anything. Ah, geez, I'm tempted to do it to all of them, to tell you the truth. But So let's get a little bit of sky sort of going down into water. This is really the middle one is where I really wanted it to kind of go down there. <laughs> yeah, that middle piece. <laughs> I'll let your imagination just run wild in that middle piece there for what it looks like. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Uh, God dang, the way, you know, since I'm doing three pieces, I'm just gonna mix the silicone in a little bit on each one, just a little tiny bit, just to get it in there a little bit. Normally I like to let it sit on top, but here's a little bit of white that I'm gonna just intermix just a little tiny bit between some of the colors just to help kind of break it up just a little bit, okay? Now let's go to the light green here. 
kind of do something like that. Definitely want to get the sides there good. And it'll, it'll start to drag. Uh, you know, it'll cover it as it drag, but try to cover as much as possible. And then we'll get the more <clears throat> the, the darker green here. a little bit lumpy and then we'll do this uh this brown here at the bottom oops okay that's pretty good i was gonna do some dots up here for stars but i don't know i might just I think I might just let it go just like the way it is. Let's, uh, you know what though, before we, we swipe, let's, let's make sure we're completely covered here. Let's get this all covered up here. Get the nice little dirt base here. <clears throat> One of the original grunge albums that changed the music scene in the 90s, Dirt by Alice in Chains. If you are into hard rock at all, or like the grunge scene or any of that type of music, then you probably already know about Alice in Chains, but if you don't, look them up. They're awesome. All right, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. You know what? I see a little bit over here that I want to make sure. The sides get completely covered. So it's all right if we mix the colors a little bit there. It's all right, no biggie. They're both green. Okay. Yeah, buddy, get on the floor. Let's dance. All right, let's get that blue up there a little bit, and we'll be ready to do our swipe. Yeah, I think we're looking good for the swipe, my friends. So I will spray a little distilled water on the bottom there, just to help kind of heavy it up a little bit. Oh, not good enough. Well, let me get just a little tiny bit more on there. All right. All right. So let's see. I'm always nervous to do the final thing, like, did I do everything? Am I good? <laughs> but, you know what? Let's see what happens. And I'm also going to do this, too, to kind of take away a little bit from the swipe look, which doesn't seem to matter. It's going to do it anyways, I guess. Yeah, see that's the problem is it drags too much on the bottom and takes away the brown. But I do I'll see some areas that need a little help over here. Exactly what I was trying to achieve, but it looks cool still. I've still got to work on, you know, I've got to just, I'm going to have to do way more brown to get that brown bottom, I think. But you can see where I swiped here, it's kind of off there, so I want to try to fix that a little bit. Oh, that's kind of cool, huh? I kind of don't like that actually. 
think we're going to have to do this just to make it look like I meant to do it. <laughs> Doesn't quite look like I meant to do it, but I don't really like the way that looks there. So we're going to have to do a little improvising here and hope it turns out okay. I did the last one I did, <clears throat> I swiped it like that and it ended up still looking cool. We just actually ended up flipping the picture upside down as opposed to right side up or whatever, but or you know upside down from how I thought it was going to be. And uh, it looked it looked cool. It looks like 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 the bottom of the ocean and bubbles rising up. Okay, that looks a little bit better, <clears throat> but I'm still gonna. Where's our other tool at? Do, 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 do. Well, you know what? That's okay. I can just use this. So, let's see what happens when I kind of do that and let them fill back in on their own. And that doesn't. Uh, yep, I think I'm just going to have to kind of do little swirl patterns. help get the thickness of the paint back up there. Yeah. But the rest of it looks pretty cool, so now I'm just gonna try to, um, you know, get the sides from being so wet. You know, I kind of just use just about the right amount of paint, it looks like, so I don't have much on the bottom there to tap with. Sorry, I can't see this side. I mean, it's good, you, you know, you want to try not to waste paint, but now that we're going to make jewelry out of it, we're kind of, we want it to spill over so we can get some cool little different patterns and stuff. You know, you let it spill over, and then you just let it completely uh, dry for a couple days, maybe even three days, you know, let it dry so it's completely dry and hard. And then you can just take it and get your jewelry and cut little tiny pieces out of it and stick it in your jewelry. And then the jewelry we bought's got the little pendants, but they've got like glass, um, you know, I don't know what you'd call it, like magnifying glass almost, you know, like a glass that it really magnifies whatever you put inside of there. So, should be pretty cool. I know the sides look messy, but you know, you don't really see the sides that much. You just want it to all kind of blend in. The white, if it's just white, it'll really, oh shoot. Take, yeah, see, this is why I need a little bit of room. I could use a little tool, but I, I don't know. It just seems like it comes out better when I use my finger, it seems like. Although I haven't used the tool that much to really compare, but yeah. And of course, when it dries, you could always add a little more paint. You just have to add to your overall dry time if you do that. Still not getting that landscape scene I'm trying to get. It always ends up looking like sort of like this, like bubbled water bubbling up. And like I said, it's still really cool, but I'm gonna have to experiment some more to get that exact look that I'm looking for here. sides over here and then I'll take the camera off and let you guys get a closer look at it here. I'm talking right now, I may end up just fast forwarding this part, I don't know. We'll see when I make the video. Okay, oh a lot of black over here. That's good at least. Get that all filled out. Black, isn't the black such a pretty color? Is black even considered a color? I don't know. 
someone told me white's not a color, it's just the absence of color. <laughs> but I love the way this shiny, the way this shiny black looks really pretty. Looking good. Let me just double check on my sides, make sure I didn't miss anything here. See a little bit where. Ooh, geez, I don't want to do black down there. Oh, that's black. Okay. Let's do a little bit of green right there. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I'm liking it. The only part I don't like is that little bit of that. Looks like it's a purposeful. Hmm. It's the only part I don't like is that part right there. Do you know what though? It's all right. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah, that came out still pretty cool. I like it. Definitely like it. Just not uh, not what I was trying to do. <laughs> But how many times does that happen, huh? All right, let me get you a closer look here. Let me just uh, dry my hands off just a little bit better here. One second. Okay. So the idea, obviously, is to get all three hung up on the wall. You try to get it at an angle where that glare is not messing with you. God, I'm almost wondering if I should mix this top part here, this blue a little more within the black. You know, I think I'm gonna do that because it, it's... Because I kind of want it to in a little bit more. Oh, that's kind of cool that how that white's swirling in there. Now, but it'll start to uh, it'll start to flatten out there. It doesn't look great right there, but it'll start to smooth out, and the cells should pop back up. Let me add a little fire to it, see if I can get a, some of the cells to pop up a little bit on the top. Those are pretty good at the bottom. I'm not really too worried about that. Just hoping to get a little action on the top there. Yeah, I'm just not liking how this top came out up here. Or maybe I shouldn't have messed with it. Shoot. Let's try something else. I'm gonna try. You know, you never know. You know, until you try, right? You gotta try stuff and see what ends up happening. If you like it or not. I look too much like I'm trying, like it's, hmm. Yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna do something a little, um, I'm gonna do something a little crazy and just try to do that. Let's see what that does. Oh, look, I even brought a little bit of the green back up to the top. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Let's shoot. See, the problem is I think I'm mixing the color so much up here that you're you're losing the cells and stuff, and you're kind of getting a very messy look here. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have just left it swiped up. Ah, gosh darn. See, I'm always second guessing myself, too. That's another thing. Hmm. It does look cool how it's kind of going through there like that. I kind of like that actually. Yeah. I'm gonna 
do, I'm gonna do one crazy long one right here, there. Yeah, I, 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 I like it. I'm just not happy with up here. I'm not happy with this part right here. I'm wondering if I should put some dots in there. Hmm. Maybe a completely different color or something. Ah, Jesus. I think, you know, like some really bright orange or pink or something like that, and then go shoo, shoo. Yeah, You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Let's get a little nutty here. Let's see what happens. Let's take some orange and, and pink. And I'm not even gonna mix a little flow troll or anything. I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit. Now, of course, this one's got the plastic on it still. Yep. I know some of you are probably watching and go, no, you're just gonna ruin it even more. <laughs> and you know what? I might. But let's, uh, you know what? Sometimes you gotta yell. I don't know what that's going to do, but we'll see what happens, I guess, won't we? <laughs> and the idea of what I want to do is just go... Uh, see, that might be the problem of not mixing it with the flow at first. Yeah. And there's why you want to mix with the flow at because it just starts to clump together. Shoot. Maybe we can get a little bit of a weird paint thing going there. Yeah, shoot guys. I think I might have messed this bottom up here. Well, you know, it doesn't look that bad actually. There, it kind of looks like you know, like little bits of fire coming up. I think it doesn't look too bad. It almost looks like flames, huh? You know what? Let's uh, let's add a little bit more. Let's go for it. I wonder. Hmm. No, no, since I, you know, I was going to try to pre-mix, but I didn't do it with the other one, so let's just stick. Just really trying to get small drops in there, too. You have to kind of touch, you know, touch and then... The look of love is in your eyes. Alright. You guys love my singing voice out there. Aye! I did not mean to do that. Oh, looks like that part's going on the side, huh? Alright. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's add mix them. Let's do that like that. Yes. Yes! From downtown! Rush! Hard, you're like trying to squeeze so lightly just to get a little bit out, but not too much. Okay. Yes, I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see what happens. Let's 
looks like I'm hoping it almost looks like you know like lava or something or the pits of hell. <laughs> this will be my Halloween painting. It's kind of coming together. I'm uh, not minding that too much, actually. Now the question is, should I... You know what? I should do some longer drags, huh? Okay, see, I'm starting to get the colors mixed up tomorrow and getting a little bit of a brownish look over there. All right, sometimes, okay. See, this one just looks a little different than those two, though. Eh. Don't, don't stop messing with the Clinton, stop messing with it. All right, all right, all right, all right. You know what? <laughs> I keep telling myself, stop messing with it, I keep messing with it. All right, that's it, I'm done. I'm going to stop. My only hope is that the, there's enough flow troll in there to get that to smooth out. I think it will, because you can see this is kind of the last one I did and it's looking good. Although, okay, I know I said I'm going to stop. I know, I know, I know. I just don't like the way it looks. Okay, now I really am done, you guys. I think I'm really done. So, let me give that, let me give that just a second to kind of... Yeah, this looks cool too. I'm actually, yeah, I think we kind of fixed the top there with adding our own little weirdness to it, you know? So now, I'm just, like I said, I'm just hoping these, this, hmm, should I tilt a little, do a little tilting or not? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 no, I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I think it's slowly flowing back into each other. It looks like it is. I wonder if, if I were to help it along, what would happen? Let's see. I'll tell you one thing, when you do it, don't lean over and hit the bottom part, you idiot. Hmm, yeah, I'm not gonna do that because that kind of flattens it out too much. It makes it look too smeared. I want it to still have that kind of look there, so. Yeah, it looks like these are. Sorry, it looks like, I don't know exactly where the video stopped. It just said maximum time's been re uh, reached, so I gotta restart. But anyways, uh, so I messed the top a little more. And I like it. It looks like flames coming from the top or bottom. So. Even though I was originally trying to do it this way, like dirt going up to water, I think I'm gonna do water going up to dirt. Kinda have to flip it the way I did the other one, cause, hold on a second, sorry. Cause to me, I'm just gonna move the light out of the way here. To me, that looks much cooler going this way, and in, in, in uh, this direction. Blocking the light there. Let's try to go to the other side here, see if this helps. Yeah, you can see it a little better that way. Yeah, see, I, I like that. That looks cool right there. So, as always, not what I was trying to do, but I'm still happy. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. So, we'll let those dry for about three weeks, and then we'll either varnish or resin the tops. Alright, hope you enjoyed it.